previously on Ghosts and Legends. Start talking about the bed impression that is routinely here in the morning. So I zoomed in a little bit closer. I looked down the bed, I, I said, you mean the bed impression here? Includes unanswered knocks at the door, sightings of Civil War soldiers all over the grounds. And there he was, it was Dr. Mudd coming down the stairs. Welcome to another episode of Ghosts and Legends. I'm your host, author and ghost story, Mike Ricksecker. Throughout the world, there are many locations known for their healing and medicinal properties. People flock to these locations for renewed vigor, while entrepreneurs transform these natural anomalies into tourist attractions. One such type of these locations were sulfur springs. And in the early 1800s, the Old Salt Sulfur Springs in West Virginia was a popular attraction for the affluent. Now, with only a few buildings still standing, it has become a popular attraction for the paranormal. This is the Old Salt Sulphur Spring Resort. This is where the prominent during the early 1800s would come to uh, heal their ailments by drinking of the waters of the spring. There was the uh, sulfur, the sweet, and the iodine springs here that they would partake in. Even Dr. Mooter from uh, up in Philadelphia, where the Mooter Museum is today, the uh, Philadelphia College of Physicians, uh, houses that he would even come down here and partake in drinking of the spring water to heal his own ailments plus actually you know study the the waters themselves and he's written a number of papers on that um, so this was a, uh, a very popular resort during the early 1800s during the uh, middle 1800s during the Civil War uh, this building behind me was used for um, both sides of the war as a headquarters as well as a uh, hospital. This, uh, this facility has been used as a hospital and um, there was a hotel here as well, a number of other buildings. The hotel had about 76 rooms uh, that housed uh, a lot more like that. Renowned paranormal investigator Dave Spinks has done extensive research of the area and shares his findings with Ghosts and Legends. The building was built in 1820 as far as we know. Um, it was used primarily for uh, as a resort back in the day for the rich and wealthy people of, uh, down south would come up here to cure their ailments because of the mineral springs here. Right. Pulling further research and what the home current owner has told me, uh, I found out from an outside source that there was over 70,000 troops in this general area during the Civil War, both sides. It was used as a Civil War hospital. Um, Numerous wounded guys from the war would be brought here to try to, you know, get better after their wounds sustained in battle. Also, before all of that, uh, this whole area is rich in Native American history. In the 1700s, just up the road from here, uh, 1774, the town of Union was formed. But it wasn't called Union back then, it was called another name. And then after the Civil War, it became known as Union, West Virginia. I know that there was a uh, particular judge that was a nasty character here back in uh, those days who was into dirty dealings and rumor has it murder for hire, you know, uh, and taking over those other folks' business that he had murdered. So the town folk ran him out of town and he tried to come back later on and he was ran out again and told if he ever came back he wouldn't make it out alive. Right. So. A lot of the folks that were brought here for medical ailments as well, uh, of course some of them died because of the TB and all that, and they were buried um, up around the town of Union in a cemetery up there. The uh, guest house, um, what was that originally? Um, I think that was partially uh, some type of slave quarters, but I'm not for sure yet. I'm still looking into that. Okay. I know some of the uh, slaves were kept up at another building up that is no longer there now right up on the hill there. Okay. Cool. 
What type of activity have you been getting here? Um, I have recorded numerous EVPs of some of uh, two small children, a, a little boy and I think a little girl, possibly another little boy. Um, also got some EVPs of what a, what I think is the little children's parent, the mother, mm -hmm. telling them not to communicate with us. Like, come on, let's go. You know? Right. Okay. Um, also recorded a uh, EVP of a, um, I think may be a black man. Um, I haven't got any more further information on him at, the, at this point in the guest quarters. Mm -hmm. um, also, I brought a news crew here um, last Halloween, not last Halloween, Halloween before last. Took him into the guest house and my cameraman recorded a ball of light come out of the bed on the upstairs bedroom, go into the rim pod and set it off. Mm -hmm. And of course numerous. You can get the flashlight to go on and off in there like like it's nothing. Right. Uh, numerous spikes on the mill meter. Uh, the proximity meter on my mill meter goes off like crazy, the rim the rim yeah. function. Uh, just numerous stuff. Uh, touch, you get the feeling of something touching your back of your neck, your hair. Down in the basement, same thing. Um, I got touched numerous times in there. Um, just all kinds of you know activity in this place. Yeah, it seems like they like to touch it a little bit around mm -hmm. here. Dave's experiences include a paranormal hotspot on the resort's main stairwell. During an investigation with Inspired Ghost Tracking, I captured this light anomaly in one single photograph. It appeared in no others. Welcome to another episode of Paranormal Vines. I'm your host, author and ghost story, Mike Ricksecker. There's a few different ways to look at a relationship between wine and the paranormal, whether that be that the wine comes from a historic location, perhaps the winery is haunted, or in the title itself and a certain theme that it may have. Now, in a recent investigation of the Old Salt Sulphur Springs Resort in West Virginia, I did sample a little, a little bit of the wine there by the fireside, but uh, there was a uh, interesting liquid of a, another sort there that they're most known for, and I'll give you a little taste of that. I have the pleasure tonight of being at the Old Salt Sulphur Springs Resort in West Virginia, uh, near Union, West Virginia. This used to be a uh, really fantastic, beautiful, elegant resort back in the early 1800s, and they would uh, come here. Uh, you know, very prominent people. There were uh, presidents that were here, other politicians, even uh, Napoleon's brother, younger brother, of all people. But um, they would come here for the uh, mineral water and the healing benefits. Mm, not bad. Mineral water like this and uh, springs throughout the country have been used for healing properties. Uh, for a number of different things throughout history. Uh, and you could say that uh, earlier in our history it was a, uh, a more popular thing to do, come to the springs, bathe within the water, and even drink the water, even though it did have that uh, hint of egg smell, but I'm not really getting that from this. Hmm? Maybe a little, but not all that much. But this is our wine of choice tonight, a Family Gallo Moscato for a job well done. And it goes fantastic here. By the fire. If you have a paranormal themed why that you know about that you believe I should cover, go ahead and let me know. Also let me know of any uh, you know locations that you'd also like me to cover, maybe a haunted winery or, or something along that nature. So until next time. After the Civil War, a Colonel Appleton, who is known as the Yankee around here, is from Boston. Uh, he bought the establishment, tried to revive it as a resort. Uh, unfortunately, in 1913, out on the front lawn here, he was gored to death by a Jersey bull. Um, so, very, very tragic, horrific death uh, that occurred here. The grounds of the resort may have other secrets as well. I started picking up on like a variety of grave sites of people who, I don't know when, but buried like in some <coughs> spotty locations throughout here, wow. like, which you can't see at all. Mm -hmm. Like Ironmark graves? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Several. I mean, it's like 15 or 20-ish is what it feels like. Mm -hmm. 
It is now a private residence, but we were afforded the opportunity uh, to be able to investigate here. Uh, inspired Ghost Dragon IGT uh, came down and I was invited uh, by Margaret Ehrlich to come down and investigate with them. Inside, an apparition of a Civil War soldier has been witnessed in the upstairs hall. On the investigation with IGT, the hall became quite active. He's not tall, he's only, he's about, about this tall. <laughs> that was, yeah. He has to be now. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, uh, yeah, he's, he's like this whoa. Big, big <laughs> he's this tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. Covered. That's important to you. Why is that significant? I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, taller. <laughs> okay. I feel a lot of static on my arm right now. Right there. Okay, right here. <laughs> I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool. So we know that's you. Go lower. <laughs> He's shorter than me, remember? Because <laughs> that's when you started hitting. It was when I said, oh, I'm taller than him. What's your name? <clears throat> Does it start with a J? Is it Jesse? Hi, Jesse. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Other stories of upstairs activity fuel investigators. All right, so what did she say? Or he say? Uh, this is else. where uh, the mother slept this was her room and she said that um she had the ladies of the night come in here and uh, i guess sat on the edge of the bed and we're having some pretty raunchy conversation <laughs> no yeah do you want to hear us laughing again That's it. There we go. She loves the <laughs> So you're having a good time with uh, hearing our jokes and uh, having a good time, huh? It's all right. Oh, excuse me. Margaret, make us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Who's behind you? Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> This woman feels like ghost energy, and it's not bad, it's that she just, for some reason here, she's just is attached to this house. Uh, this is her room. On a side note, talk of the paranormal must have stirred up the resident ghost. While recording, a white wisp was captured coming from the bottom left-hand corner of the frame, stopping in mid-air, then darting back down into the right. Our earth is filled with methods that heal us both physically and spiritually. Sometimes the waters that heal us flow with the past that rushes by as if it's still living in the present. Stop and take notice before it's gone. Until next time.